man what's up everybody just another day in the office baby in the office so i had somebody ask me if i can save a car a truck or a bus what would it be man I i'm gonna be honest with you dude that's that's a pretty hard question to ask man because it's so many that i do want to save but man, it's hard to choose from which one do you want to say. That's the thing about it. I mean, man, it's oh man, just like the uh, just like the Bentley I crushed. Now, if I could have saved it, if it was a whole entire car, not just a shell, if I could have saved it, I could have took it. Uh, the '75 Catalina, she could have been saved, but you know, I, I went on ahead and let her go. You know, now, a bus-wise, I'm not really 100% sure on a bus, man, because, I mean, that's that's a big-ass bus, man. I mean, where are you going to park that big-ass thing at if you ain't got no house? Because <laughs> you definitely can't park it in no apartment. That's the damn show. <laughs> um, I mean, man, it's, it's so many cars to choose from, man. It's not a... I'm going to be honest with you, man, that's, it's, it's not an easy question, it is not an easy question, but, but, I mean, if I really just had a choice, had a choice, and if I seen somebody maybe crushing it or something, I would say, I, 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 I would say the, um, the Dodge Challenger, the General Lee, because definitely, I would take that motor out and put a, and, and, and put a B10 LS up off of them. That's all she wrote. That will be all she wrote. V10 LS, man. And then modify everything else. I tell you, man, that'd be one bad puppy. Y'all, believe it or not, man, we got CRS in the building, man. He's right up over there right now with that uh, uh, that Oldsmobile Tonado right now. He's looking up under the hood right now as we speak. Man, it's always good to see CRS. It's always good to see him, man, all the time. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Okay, now I got to get some more cars ready. Y'all give me a sizzle. Oh, 83. TCF going right on up. So, back to that question what I was uh, talking about earlier. Now to the bus. Now he was saying if it was a bus I wanted to keep. I think, I think actually it would maybe be like one of the upgraded new Greyhound buses. Just so, just so I could drive around and pick up some of the hottest chicks. The hottest chicks, man. And call it the hot chick party bus. That's exactly the name that I would name it, the Hot Chick Party Bus. Hands down, period. And I think that right there will be a success. Free rides for the ladies. <laughs> but the dudes, man, <laughs> I feel sorry for you guys, man. I really do, man. But nah, I give y'all some rides too, but I'm gonna have to Tax that ass, man. Tax, taxes, taxes. We all know, man, taxes is a bitch. <laughs> we already know. But yeah, man, I think that will be, I think that will probably be the bus that I would save. I would save a new model Greyhound bus and just use it for that right there. Just for that purpose right there. No other purpose at all. Because really, to be honest with you, wouldn't be no other purpose for it. Cause I'm definitely ain't uh picking up no kids. That's for damn this show. Shit, my kids they grown, so uh, uh, I ain't got to worry about them at all. I do not have to worry about them at all. All right, I gotta get Mario on the job this for me. Ooh, then, but then yesterday too. I forgot to tell y'all that yesterday Nando asked me, he was like, gee, 
He's like, man, you gonna record? Oh, uh, you, uh, you gonna record all the all the tires getting changed? And then I was like, I was like, three hours? Three hours of recording? I was like, Nando, ain't nobody finna sit up and watch three hours of three guys changing four damn me tires on a loader, cause. Even I wouldn't even watch that. I wouldn't even watch. I maybe watch maybe like a minute of it and be done. I mean, there is no way that I could sit for three hours watching somebody change tires because those three hours gonna actually feel like four hours. To be honest with you. No, no. I was like, no, nah, I didn't even record that, man. But I did make uh, um, a ten-minute, well, actually a little, a little short, seven, ten-minute video of us changing the last tire. You know, but I mean, it was, it was, it, it was hell. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. We, we had a really hard time on the two back tires. They was the hardest ones to deal with. But we did get it knocked out. We got it taken care of, man. We surely did. Whew, man. But you know, then uh, I text the boss, man, this morning. I was like, man, thank you for the new shoes for my loaded, cause she sure did need them. And he was like. Well, you make sure you take care of those. You make sure you take care of those three thousand eight hundred dollars shoes for me, please, sir. I said I surely will, man. I surely will. And I was like, thank you. I so sure do appreciate you, man. Cause she so sure did need her some new shoes. She really did, man. Cause her shoes was getting old. You know, cause I mean, after a period of time, man, you. You constantly driving, spinning, turning, backing up, this, that. You know, pushing, man. That, that. I mean, man. That eats that rubber up real quick, man. A lot of people don't realize that. That, you know, a lot of rubber tires, they may look like they last. They may look like they last, but they don't. You know what I mean? What's up, witches? Hey, yes, we surely can because I need to find those W two somewhere in my house. Then, um, uh, I, I, never mind. I, I, never mind. I'm gonna have to ask you when I'm off camera, cause I'm on camera right now. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. That's an important. That's an important phone call right there, man. That's an important phone call. That's mother. Mother, how you doing, mom? So, I already got two bundles there. Now let's go ahead and uh, get that last one. Matter of fact, let's go, go, let's go ahead and get this last, well not the last car, but I'm still waiting on this guy right here to bring me for well, actually find more cars so I can't finish out this load. Because I know in the morning, in the morning I am being moved. I am going to Louisville to go crush me some more cars. Then I'ma wait for these guys right here to get their cars. That way they can have the whole 15, 16 cars. That way when I come back, it's just straight smash and crash, baby. Straight smash and crash. Ain't no ass what's about the situation. And all good. Man. Like I tell everybody, man, I crush more TCFs than anything. Than anything. Boy. Dime a dozen, a dime a dozen. Sometimes nine TCFs in one load. Nine. That is crazy. That's crazy. So just a minute ago, I just had somebody off my TikTok from one of my uh, one of my old um, Ford pictures, Ford truck pictures. So one of the dudes said, "Man, why are you always crushing all fours? Why don't you part them out?" I'm not finna part out no damn trash can, man. The hell I finna part out a trash can for? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. It may, you know what I'm saying, it may be a lot of money into it, but, man, I ain't got time for all that, man. I don't have time for partial stuff, man, especially when I'm crushing and I'm trying to get, whoops, and I'm trying to get a lot of things done. So, you know, with part-wise, that's just, that's just out of my league for the time being until another time. 
know, so, I mean, there's really nothing I can really just do about it because, you know, like I say, these cars here, they're not mine, they're the customers, so I'm just here just to do one job. Now, now, and now, now if they sold the part to somebody and if they wasn't here to collect the money, then I'm here to collect the money for them, so when I do see them, they'll get their money for the parts that, you know, say they got sold when they sold, you know. Come on, Mar, you gotta put that card in, baby. It's gonna get run over one day. You gotta stick it out too far, too far, too far. Alrighty. Come on, baby, go ahead. Come on, come on, come on. Give me no hard time now. Give me no hard time. Yeah, but like I say, on the cool, you know, I mean, if I had the time to sell, you know, some of these guys parts then yeah i probably would but like i say i really don't i really don't get time at all because the simple fact is that i'm always i'm always ripping and running off the loader you know because when i'm it's like it's like when i'm making a video i'm making two or three different videos for two or three different platforms so it's like an up and down motion up and down up and down up and down motion so it's not like it's not like I get a lot of time just to uh, do anything because I really half the time I don't at all. I just don't. So I just I just do what I can with what I can, how I can, and just be done with it. That's all I can do. If I can't do no more than you know what I'm supposed to be doing because you know selling parts is just like I say it's not. That's not part of my job description for this. You know, I'm over there at um, at our yard. Now that'd be differently because I'm doing that for the big boss man, you know. So that's a different different subject, different story on that day. Come on, baby. the cars right there he got for me the ones i've been waiting on bringing them cars to me baby bring them to me exactly what i'm waiting on these four right here oh man i got a tcf stain up off in y'all i got a stain that came up off in y'all that is suck is right there with a dumpster dodge durango Bye bye. Guess I'm gonna leave. I guess I leave those two up off in there. Give me one second. Man, do y'all see what I see on this trailer right here, man? I'm looking at a comet, y'all. Four door at that, man. Damn, too bad it's not a damn two door, man. Too bad it's not a two door. Man, look at that right there, y'all. Oh, man. Man, I sure hate to do this to the comic, but I ain't had no other way of picking this baby up. Damn, the bottom of it looks all right. Uh, nah, I take that back. It ain't, it ain't too, too good. Nah, it's done at the bottom. Man, I just tore up the whole damn roof, y'all. Man. We got a big ass hole I put at the top. Told you. Ain't no mercy, man. So, Matt brought me this comic just a minute ago, not too long ago. Y'all seen it. And uh, he was like, uh, he was like, hey, man, there's a guy coming for the, uh, there's a guy coming for the window for this car right quick. I said, what window? He said, that window right there. I said, you mean this window right here? Bam, put my fork straight through it. I don't give a shit, man. Ain't no mercy, man. Ain't, ain't no mercy. There is no mercy. And Matt was like, oh, well, then I guess he just looked out on that. I said, yeah, he surely the hell did, too. He surely did. He looked out big time. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for somebody for a couple of hours to come and get a damn me window. No, no. No, man. No, we ain't got time to wait. That's the problem. We do not have time to wait. Y'all give me one sec. I got to jog this thing.
I would smack will move this damn truck and trailer out my way. Forgot, we gotta drain the gas in on this one too. Ah! This damn towel right here. Man, I hate dealing with these long ass trucks, boy. They be sticking out a mile long. some cars over there and then come back then come back and crush that uh crush that uh uh, uh that, 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 that that Oldsmobile Tornado over there oh no I may crush that damn thing upside down I don't know yet Somebody was on that period over here, looks like. So I got the body, I got this, this, uh, let's see, I think it's this, I think it's this Dodge Durango down at the bottom. She's bleeding out, y'all. She's bleeding out. Go ahead and set that back right here. Man, y'all know what? I'm gonna get back with y'all, man. I got something in store for the con. Peace. <laughs>